Her body was pulled from Lake Ontario three months ago, wrapped in a bag. Today, we finally know her name. Our Travis Danrash has been following this story for weeks for us. He joins us live now. Travis. As well, the police gave us an update today on the death of 23-year-old Cassandra Bullduck, and many questions still remain. She was one of a kind. She was always laughing and smiling and curious about everything. It's how Cassandra Bolduck will be remembered by family, a bright little girl whose life ended too soon as a 23-year-old woman. Police announced today Bolduck's body was found in Lake Ontario at the end of May. She had been wrapped in plastic. A relative who didn't want to be identified says Bolduck had been hanging around with gangs. She was really vulnerable and gullible and easily influenced. After moving from Elliott Lake, those who knew her here say she got involved with Toronto sex trade. Cassandra Bolduck was known to frequent this neighborhood around Sherburne and Dundas. Many in the area that we have talked to say they knew her well, but those same people say they've never been approached by police for information. Gabriel Jacobs says she came to his apartment several times with a man who claimed to be her boyfriend. The last time he saw her was in April. When people come here, they come here to smoke dope. When he spoke, she listened. You know, when it was time to go, then they left. Bolduck was reported missing in February. Her body recovered in May. But police only went public with details of the case today. They say they've been following leads for months. We consider every uh, death, uh, we hold it in the highest regard and we put every effort into uh, furthering the investigations to their fullest. Doug Johnson Hatlam, who has worked on the streets for decades, says news of her death should have been made public sooner. There's a lot of people on the streets that need to know what happened, that want to know what happened, that want to know um, about important issues of violence uh, and death that affect their lives as well. The police don't care. Uh, it's like I said, just another crackhead gone. For family, Bullduck was anything but. She was a mother, a daughter, and a sister. I needed to let the world know that that's not who she was. And she was a beautiful person, and she didn't deserve to die. Travis Danraj, CBC News, Toronto.